This supplementary video presents our approach to data-driven traffic animation using flow reconstruction. With the increasing use of sensor networks to monitor real-world conditions, the visualization of these measurements is an increasingly important problem, and monitoring traffic conditions is a prime example of this problem. Networks of highway sensors, cameras, cell phones, and in-car GPS devices provide measurements over large regions of the road network, especially along important highways. Motivated by these developments, this work estimates the full state of traffic from sparse sensor measurements using a statistical inference technique and a macroscopic traffic model. This estimated state then drives a microscopic traffic simulation to create a detailed reconstruction with realistic traffic flows and phenomena. This method produces an interactive 3D visualization of traffic that statistically matches the original traffic conditions. Our method can be broken down into three conceptual stages, sensor or data input, state estimation, and detailed reconstruction. Initially, keyframes are set for every lane in the road network. These keyframes consist of density and velocity readings and can come from actual sensors or from synthetic user-defined controls. Using an ensemble common smoother and a macroscopic traffic model, we create a complete state estimate for each lane at every time frame. These state estimates are then used to drive an agent-based microscopic traffic simulation. The state estimates are used to control such things as boundary conditions, individual car velocities, and whether a car can merge or not. This visualization, like the previous, was constructed in part by reconstructing real-world sensor data, as was done on the lower half of the highway, and in part by reconstructing synthetic user-defined data, as was done on the upper half of the highway. On the bottom half of the highway, we can see features such as congestion where the on-ramp meets the highway, and the HOV lane which maintains a higher speed of velocity than the neighboring lanes. As indicated by the text, this video is shown at five times real time in order to better show the traffic patterns. At this point in the video, we can see that congestion has formed downstream. However, it soon dissipates as the traffic returns to its free flow. The traffic on the upper half of the highway is generated to maintain a mean density and velocity while allowing for individual velocity preferences among the agents. This demonstration shows that our method can create fully 3D traffic animation. Input data for scenarios such as this can be created by users procedurally by assigning density and velocity keyframes for roads throughout the network. These patterns drive the agent-based microscopic traffic simulation. Each agent is given a velocity bias preference drawn from a bounded normal distribution. 